Hello ladies and gents, and welcome back to Magic the Gathering. As you guys have probably noticed, or maybe, I don't know if I sound too much different, but if I do sound different, it's because my nose is completely stuffed up, because I am still getting over a cold that I caught on Thursday. Or no, I guess it would have been Wednesday night, Thursday morning. And yeah, I was sick. I couldn't really record until today, which is Saturday, because I had a sore throat and I can't really commentate with a sore throat. But that's gone, and I should be able to do a little bit of recording. Um, sorry for the lapse in videos again, even though I keep promising. You know, just stuff keeps coming up, but it is the winter break, so hopefully we won't have to worry about that anymore. Um, we've got another match for you guys. We're going up against Tazert hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he's a guy who focuses on artifacts, which are a specific type of card that are usually... His cards deal with artifacts specifically and not other types of creatures or magic cards. You guys will see how it works, though. So we're going to pick a random deck here. We're going to get Dragon's Roar again. I'm not sure how good this will be against Tazert, but we'll just have to go ahead and see. Oh man, yeah, but uh, it's been a rough couple of days. Um, I did go to see The Hobbit Midnight Premiere, and that was fantastic. Loved it. Would see again. 10 out of 10. Okay, all the cards I have cost quite a bit of mana, so I'm going to draw a new hand here. Uh, that one's pretty good, a red spell. That'll heal me, and I've got two of them. I've also got this guy, which I can put down pretty easily. It's after effect. When he dies, everybody gets minus one, minus one. Will be pretty useful against some of Tazeret's creatures. Burst Lightning, always good to have. Kicker four, that means if I pay four extra mana, um, it'll have an extra effect. In this case, uh, this would normally do two damage, but if I kick it, it does four damage. Kind of a high cost, but... Uh, and this figure creature gets minus two minus two that would kill a lot of stuff he has on the field so that's a pretty good card so this is a decent start here and we get a creature to put down immediately which is great Let's see what he's going to do here black mana he has three different types of lands I believe because artifacts are generally colorless which means they aren't associated with any type of mana and therefore can be summoned with whatever mana. Um, that means that most of their mana costs are just like this two here. It doesn't have a color requirement. Uh, if I get some more mana here though, I'm going to kind of need it here. But I can start putting these down so once I start getting some real red spells then I can start healing myself. Might as well get that one point of damage. And I do. So let's see. He, two man is generally where he can start putting down creatures here. But he goes for a um, Terramorphic Expanse, which basically means he can choose any color mana he wants if he taps this and sacrifices it. Uh, kind of a questionable card, because for most of his spells, they don't require a specific color, but I guess it would be useful if he happened to. That's kind of weird. I've gotten all blacks so far, even though I shouldn't, in theory. Uh, another creature, or does it really matter? But let's put down another Dragon Claw, so I can get that two points of life back for every time I cast a red spell. I'm having in mostly black spells, which is kind of weird, considering this deck is mostly red spells another point of damage. He's going to put down a land card, and I would be highly surprised if he didn't summon something this turn. Puts down another Terramorphic Expanse, and what does he got? Ooh, that's a good card. That is a very good card. Basically, if he taps that creature, every artifact he puts on the field gets plus one, plus one permanently, which is really bad, and I want to kill that thing as soon as possible. 
so I'm going to go ahead and use my burst lightning because that threat needs to be dealt with. Like that. Zap. And I get plus two for that because that was a red spell. And I can still put down my giant scorpion. This scorpion has death touch, which means no matter what attacks it, it it'll die. But yeah. Even though it has measly one, it'll kill anything. Unless that thing has first strike, I believe, which means it will hit the scorpion first. But I don't think he really has too much that has first strike, so should be okay for now. Oh man, I kind of feel like I am sounding different. My nose is really stuffed up. Uh, he's gonna get a etched champion. That's also kind of a threat later on. If he has three artifacts on the field, that thing is very hard to kill because it has protection against um, all five colors, which means if something has a color associated with it, I can't kill it with it, which really sucks. So I might want to go ahead and just kill that thing right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Because that's a big threat. Those two cards are really the biggest threats he has on his team. In the beginning game at least. So nice to get those out of the way. I'll attack with both of my guys. Death touch is not applied to players. So I can't just one hit KO him. That would be a little bit overpowered. Okay, what's he going to do? I'm sure he has more tricks. No, he doesn't. That is very surprising that he didn't play something. And I'm just playing by draw now because I don't have very many cards, which is, which is unfortunate. But I can do four points of damage every turn. That's going to pressure him to do something here. Well, four damage isn't a whole lot. If that racks up, it's bad for him. Aha! Sculptor. That means all artifacts he has cost one mana less. One colorless mana, that is. Kind of a threat. Kind of a threat, not gonna lie. Um, if he blocks anything on my team, it'll die, I believe. Because even if he kills this, uh, this goblin will do one damage to him, and then the minus one, minus one will kill him off. So, I can still safely attack with everything. Gonna do. He's going to block the one creature he can kill, but I will kill him in return. It's a fair deal. That card could be a pain later, so I'm glad it's gone. And he still can't do anything. He must have really expensive cards. Uh, I can only have mana, though. I can really put any card down on the field if I get it, so... Hopefully I get some good cards here. Dragons are the main focus of this deck, and I haven't gotten any, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I kind of want to get some dragons. He's going to have to discard a card, because he has more than seven. What's he going to discard? Oh, he did Um, dragon spells cost two less to cast, and it's a two-two for three. Put it down. Gives me a plus two life. Uh, counter target spell. Oh, man, that means that spell is invalid. Not going to do anything. Uh, it doesn't have, it's going to cost him, but it won't be too big of a deal for him because he's just going to get all that mana back. So that's really unfortunate. That could have been useful later on. I forgot he had that card, actually. Uh, not very many decks have counter cards, but I guess this is one of them. Blue decks t tend to have counter cards, and this does have blue mana in it, so. Snapsail Glider. 2-2, uh, two, two. gets flying if he has three or more artifacts. Probably seen a pattern here. Three or more artifacts is a common theme. That's a really threatening card. That means he'll probably take my Festering Goblin out once I attack again. And let's see if... Oops. I am willing to f fodder that card out, because the longer it stays in, the less likely it is to be of use. And indeed, he is going to sack his card. I'm gonna kill that. Now I only have my giant scorpion, which kinda sucks. 
He's gonna put down the land. What's he gonna play? Ah, uh, no maximum hand size. That kind of sucks because he was just kind of salt stalling. Um, oh, that's really bad. He gets one life for every card in his hand every turn, and he has quite a few cards. Oh, that's gonna be really bad. I have to force him to play more cards. Which I can't really do, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and attack, even though he's gonna be gaining crazy amounts of health every turn now. Uh, I really need dragons, I don't need land. At this point, stalling was working in my favor, but at this point, oh my god, more land. I don't need more land. <laughs> I need mana swamped here. Don't need it. I can afford anything in my deck. Come on. It's just going to keep healing the more he stalls. That card is the anti-stall card for me. What's he going to put down? Oh, that is the one card I did not want to see. Shinx has flying, and whenever it enters the field, my life becomes ten. Or I guess he gets to choose. Yeah, he gets to choose, but I would be stupid to put it on him. So all that hard work, uh, mana. Ooh, finally I get a creature that can that has flying, flying in haste. So that's pretty good. I uh, get that two life. Now I'm wondering, I can't attack with it, but should I? I think I need to really pressure him. If he blocks any of those, he'll die, which is good. So let's see what he'll do here. If, yeah, I was thinking he might not block anything. Which is okay by me, I guess. Kind of bad because he's still going to keep healing. And I don't have that much life anymore, so that Sphinx is a huge threat. But he doesn't attack with it, which is surprising. He puts a 6-4 down, that sucks. That means I'll probably keep my Scorpion on defense from now on. Um, ooh, minus 2, minus 2. That is not useful though, because that can't kill anything. Let's see how he reacts. Hopefully he sacks that card. I really want him to sack it, and he does. Stop timer. Oh wait, because this mi minus two minus two, that means I can save my dragon here. Use that on the Sphinx. It cannot kill my dragon now, and that Sphinx is dead. Awesome. And that guy won't dare attack while my Scorpion's on defense because it has death touch. Um, he's going to sacrifice an artifact, and he's going to sacrifice the artifact that's keeping him in the game, and that could morph into anything. Hopefully it's not anything good. That's an okay card. It's 2-1 flyer with death touch. That does counter my dragon though. Which does suck. He's gonna put another artifact down. Uh, whenever he puts a land down, uh, he can pay two and two mana and throw another card, which sucks, but that's at least he's not gonna be healing every turn. Which is great. I get one of my better cards, the Flame Blast Dragon. It's a 5-5 five five with flying. And if I pay a red mana plus any number of other manas, I get to do that much damage to a creature or player. And with my unlimited, not unlimited, but high amounts of land, that's a devastating creature. That's going to take him out of the game, most likely. Because I can pay, I think I have 10 mana. So I can do 9 damage every turn with this card to anything I want. Might just take out that owl just to be safe, because that owl does check both my dragons. Um, puts down a glider. That thing will have fly now, because there are more than 3 artifacts on his side of the field. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get my ma life back, but uh, okay, I can do two da or 10 damage now. Um, oh man, I should have used my ability, unfortunately. Stop the timer. Oh, whenever it attacks, I did not see that, I forgot about that. Uh, I should have used that. Um, 
Oh man, I kind of just wasted a turn. Oh well. That dragon is really good. So as long as I have it, I should be in good shape. What's he going to do? He's going to put down a 4-4 Rhino, but it'll be a 6-6 six, six Rhino because there are more than three artifacts. That pattern just keeps on coming up. Um, I can't... This card does X damage to each creature without flying. That would be a good card if I do. Unfortunately, it'll kill my scorpion, but it also gets rid of those two cards. Uh, I think it'll I think it'll be worth it. Let's go pay six. I'm gonna kill those two cards, but it will kill my scorpion. He's gonna counter that, which sucks really does. I wanted to get those two things out of the way, but alas. Uh, let's go ahead and attack with the Flame Blast Dragon and the Rorix Dragon thing. Uh, I want to target the creature. Uh, let's do one damage to it. Yes, I do. I want to pay one land and take out that owl because that was checking my dragons for so long. And he's going to sack his glider, which is great. And damage is going to be done to him. He's probably dead next turn. Unless he really has something down his, up his sleeve. Not down his sleeve. Um, he's probably going to pay that cost. Draw another card. What's he going to do? Nothing. I'm surprised he didn't attack, but... Not that it would have mattered, because I'm going to kill him anyway. No matter what. This is good game for him. I'm going to target him. I'm going to pay all my mana. And that will be the game. Awesome. Flame blast him, and I win the battle. So, thank you guys for watching as always. Um, I might be doing a few more of these. Uh, it, it's really hard to do Minecraft and stuff like that because if I play it for too long with my cold, I start getting a headache. And that's no good. That would make it really hard to commentate over, let alone do s other stuff in the background. But I have been working on both Feed the Beast and Four Pillar Survival a little bit. So hopefully, sooner rather than later, new episodes of that will be coming out. But as always, guys... I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.